Hello hot messes! Today begins another theme week here on Answerly, and this week we are showing you guys our party tricks. Now mostly what I'm good for at parties is getting too drunk, being a little obnoxious, and doing stupid things with cups. <coughs> But that does not a video make. So today I'm going to show you guys a trick that you can do that's going to make you the life of any party. I'm going to teach you how to make guacamole. The thing about guacamole is that it's really, really easy to whip up, but people who don't know that think it's complicated and you look awesome. Bring it to any gathering and I promise everyone will love you. Here's what you need. An avocado. Some onion. A lime, but I have lemon and that works fine. Bell peppers of your choosing. And fresh cilantro. You also need cumin, you also need red pepper flakes, and you also need salt. But essentially the lime juice, the avocado, and the salt are the only things you really need. Everything else is more or less optional. First you want to cut open your avocado and try not to cut your hand off when you're doing it. Use a spoon to scoop all the avocado out and put it into a bowl. Next, you want to cut off a slice of your lemon or your lime and squeeze all of the juice into the avocado in the bowl. Next, we're going to use a fork to mash this all together into a guacamole-like texture. Figure it out. We did it! Next, we're going to add some other solid stuff. I like red bell pepper, but I'm also going to add some yellow. And I like red onion, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use white. This is how much I want. I'm going to put it into my bowl now. And now for my favorite part, cilantro! You can add the uh, dried cilantro in a shaker can if you want, or none if you want, but this is my favorite part, because it smells like heaven. Cilantro, chop it! Add a couple cumin seeds, a shake of garlic salt, some red pepper flakes. I don't have any salt, so I'm gonna go ask my neighbor if I can borrow some salt. And we're done! Here's your guacamole. It's best to put it in a more attractive serving dish when you're done. Um, you can make this however you like it. You can not add peppers, you can add more peppers, you know, you can add tomatoes. Do your thing. Uh, also, this is really easy to multiply. This recipe probably feeds like one really hungry person or like four polite snackers. So, you know. Do the math. So I hope you enjoyed learning about my party trick, and let me know if you try this, and I hope you have a fun time watching Joe's and Christina's later this week. I'll see you guys on Monday.